Hello, I'm Ari Lax, and uh, this week, or I guess next week for me, this week for you guys, I'm recording with what is potentially one of the hot decks of this Grand Prix weekend in Elves. Um, I've seen a lot of name players uh, picking this deck up on Magic Online, a lot of Platinum Pros, uh, important, you know, other people. Uh, I've ran into Metai Zedekai playing this deck, um, members of East West Bull, the team that won the last Pro Tour. Uh, Reed Duke, just a few names off the top of my head that I've seen testing this deck over the last week. And so the draw to this deck is that it, in theory, is a good Eldrazi matchup. You can swarm uh, around them pretty hard. Um, you do have a lot of, you know, you play a lot of creatures. Their deck is not very well equipped to handle large amounts of creatures. Um, but you're also like a really good worship deck on top of that. So looking at the main deck, this is pretty stock. You'll see the same four Llanowar Elf, four Elvish Mystic and everything. Uh, Heritage Druid, Nettle Sentinel is one of like the founding principles of the deck, is that you just get to tap these elves for a bunch of mana, play more elves, untap your Nettle Sentinels, tap those elves for mana, put a bunch of stuff into play, chain off your spells for some amount of time. Um, 18 lands, pretty stock as well. I've kind of fiddled with the mana base. This is kind of a list based off of things I've seen, uh, RP, or not RPTQ, uh, SCG IQ lists, wrong season. Um, looking at some old lists like Andrew Solano's top eight deck from uh, Grand Prix Oklahoma City, the one I didn't attend. I'm trying to remember which one. Yeah, okay. Let's see, um, also the well, I guess the Grand Prix Charlotte winning deck was before Magic Origins, so these cards were not part of the deck. Um, yeah, also Duanian's Elite, uh, pretty key addition to this deck for those who have not played or looked at it since Magic Origins um, with Heritage Druid. The card's effectively free, so with Heritage Druid, you basically get one mana per elf you tap, and this costs two mana and makes two elves, but it makes, you know, it's a free three power. It's pretty decent Frogmite impersonation, or Burning Tree Emissary, or what have you. Um, I've cut down on Visionaries just to fit some bigger card draw effects in the deck. Uh, I'm trying a Shaman version tonight. Uh, there are lists without it that should just go big with creatures. How did you sneak back in here? Uh, as you can see, this list is under development. Uh, the list I originally copied it from had an Elvis Champion, but I'm not sold on that. Uh, with you know, you already have the pump effects for where that matters, and there's not a lot of forest decks running around. There's a lot more like wastes and a dark are wastes, so the unblockability from the forest walk isn't super necessary. So these are your big whammies. I like having a lot of this effect. Um, playing a bunch of Azuris is kind of awkward. Um, Shaman's similar, like, similar and not super fluid, but it works good on these, like, half beatdown plans. So, I don't mind it. Uh, basically, you know, this is, like, your core mana engine. Archer would kind of bridges the gap between you're putting things into play engine and you're doing big things engine. And then uh, Shaman and Azuri are doing big things. And then you've got these ten cards that just add a bunch of, you know, put more things into your hand that let you do big things. I'm actually going to... I think I'd rather just play Sylvan Messenger than lead the Stampede, honestly. Uh, so I'm just going to max out on the set of that. I, like, some of the lists I've played on Magic Online have le had lead the Stampede, and I've seen it played with mixed results, but I like the idea of having an actual creature. Um, Collected Company, also just clearly the best card in the deck. Uh, best card in Standard, one of the more powerful cards in Modern that enables multiple archetypes. Just a very good Magic card. Um... With Shaman of the Pack, one of the keys is actually triggering multiples, and that's one way to do it, is to find the extra one with Collecting Company. Um, a couple cords to line up additional Shamans. Main deck's pretty straightforward and linear. Um, it's on the resilient linear path of you know being creatures and not just being like a combo deck. Uh, Guilty Palace, notable card for this deck because it's a free duel. Uh, basically, Cavern also similarly pays for all of these creatures. Uh, looking at the sideboard, you can see another one of the draws is that this is a pretty good Warship deck. You don't have a hard to kill creatures, you just have so many creatures that the Eldrazi deck is never going to kill them. A um, couple Gus for Affinity, also a Kataki to Tutor for. Another Cord, because this card gets better with our sideboard cards. Uh, that's one of the things, you know, your tutors maximize your sideboard cards. You get to find them more often. Uh, kind of Miser's Thought Seize, this is just basically straight up. Kind of wanted one, didn't really want to send Collector, because uh, I don't think the mana can support it in this deck. Uh, just kind of looked around, and a little more interaction never hurt, and I found that in one of the lists. 
Eidolon of Rhetoric takes care of a lot of the combo decks in terms of slowing them down, though it's not that great for you either. Um, but the decks that it hurts, it's significantly more punishing for them than you. Four Shenders against Sweepers, kind of against Burn. Uh, you know, and then you reach the generic tutor hate part of the deck. Rex Stage kills enchantments and artifacts. There's a lot of reasons to do that. A lot of reasons to hate on graveyards. Infect. Uh, there's still some decks that you want to spell skate, like Infect. If anyone plays Bogles, good luck to them. And a Kitchen Finx just because for value, really. Um, I'm willing to admit that I don't think this sideboard's optimized. I haven't like super amalgamated it from a bunch of lists to the extent that I could. Um, but I want to try out the shell and see... I just want to feel like if this is powerful enough to be handling the other things in the format enough, that I should be considering it as a way to trump Eldrazi this upcoming weekend slash past weekend for you guys.